Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to use Conboot, free open source software which allows you to patch the particular files on Windows Startup to do to do with um, passwords. It was originally made for floppy disk and it shall not be it should not be used maliciously. Double click the Conboot file, which I will put in the description. Launch unit button. If an authentication message or a continue message comes up, just hit yes or continue. Minimize this for the moment. Read the instructions. Do this, otherwise your um, main hard drive, your your C drive, may be overridden, and you will just have conboot installed on it, which is bad. So you will lose all your data. Anyhow, double click on the installer. Double click on conboot floppy img. That's um, a disk image. Double click on that, and I've got fd floppy disk zero dash conboot version one point one point two installer one. So go back to unit button, select disk image, select floppy, because you're burning a floppy image. Go to your directory, which for me it was conboot installer, uh, conboot uh, floppy img. Click it, open it. Make sure it's on USB drive, not hard disk, USB drive. Select whichever number it is, so, uh, sorry, whichever letter, so for me it's disk E and click OK. I've just already got this installed, that's why it's saying. That's why it's asking me for the overwrite permission. So, yes to all, and we're all done. Click Exit, and, uh, yeah. and then go back, uh, quit this if you like, and restart your computer. But, if you uh, but go into, you may have to do F12 to get into your boot menu. If you do, go down, click uh, do whatever uh, your USB is called, but if you have the infinite loop problem, in other words, it just keeps going um, back to your option saying default, click it, yeah, in, uh, then it will come up with the Convoot ASIC uh, logo if you like, um, and it will just keep going round and round and round, round like that. So if that happens, go to infinite loop problem fix, double click it, and double click the RAW, Extract the files and replace them. Then I will need you to follow the instructions on Iron Geek, which I will give you right now. Here, the instructions. He does it. He does very detailed, and that's the only way you'll get this to work. So anyway, thank you for watching.